Hello guys, I'm sure you would have heard about infrastructure as code. Have you ever heard about diagram as a code? Are you wondering like what is diagram as code? Don't worry, in this tutorial we are going to talk about what is diagram as code. Do you want to create a good architecture design like this for your cloud infrastructure, what you see on the screen, like, you know, different uh, workers, you know, different components uh, from your cloud infrastructure or your Kubernetes. What we usually do is we have to use like Microsoft Visio or some kind of tool to create this diagram, right? What we are going to talk about in this tutorial is like you can create this kind of diagram using uh, code, uh, Python codes like this, what you see on the screen. So we write on, on, on the code and then we convert, you know, just simple a like command it will create your the complete diagram what you saw it previously on the uh, presentation so before I get into actual uh, demo or uh, how you do that uh, we discuss on that I would request you like if you are new to my channel if you are not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button and also like my video okay so let's see you know what is diagram as code so diagram uh, as a code which lets you to draw the cloud system architecture using python code so what we are trying to do is like we write the code as a python code and then using that we convert into the diagram and what is you know the benefit of that so diagram as a code allow you to track the architectural diagram any changes in that using version control right so what is the usage of infrastructure as code or gitops we use all our infrastructures as you know yaml files or uh, terraform files so that any changes we do it we control the all uh, changes using uh, tracking systems using version control right the same way you know if you are using diagram as code you can define your diagram using the you know, python code and we you can uh, track these changes using any version control software okay and you know currently the diagrams uh, supports many you know providers like aws azure gcp kubernetes uh, cloud alibaba cloud oracle cloud etc and we are going to talk about this uh, this website diagrams.mingrammar.com so it's actually a website where you will get the complete detail but you don't use it like a web uh, application we i will show you how we to use that so the details what we uh, discussed you can uh, refer it in this uh, website as well okay so what you need to uh, have for uh, like a pre request to use the diagram as code like you need to have a python 3.6 or higher on your system okay and also you need to have uh, to install a graphviz so i will also show you how you can install all these things and you also need to have a pip so that you know once you have a pip installer you need to have you know install the diagrams so because once you have the pip you can install diagrams and using that you will be able to create your diagrams using it's pretty simple it's not a you know rocket science or anything it's a pretty simple process let me show you how you do that now, as I mentioned, we are going to talk about uh, this website, diagrams.mingrammar.com, where you'll be getting the complete details, like, you know, diagram as code, whatever I showed you. So this is how some examples, uh, you know, what I showed. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to talk about how you, what you need, right? So first you need to have, you need to have Python installed. So for a Windows machine, you can directly go and download the Python and you can install it or you can use your Microsoft uh, App Store and you can install it. For installing graphics, you can uh, use this uh, web link. So if it's for uh, Ubuntu or Fedora, you can use these kind of uh, uh, commands like app or yam command, repository commands, and you can install it. For Windows, you can download the exe and you can install it. So once you have both installed, next thing is you need to have a pip, okay? So you need to install pip so you can you know, use uh, pip for Windows, you can install it. If you don't know how to install pip on Windows, you can use the curl command. You can uh, curl this uh, get pip.py file and then you can use python get pip.py so it will install the pip on the machine. Okay, so I will give all this uh, reference into the video description. You can use it from there. You can uh, use those uh, commands and you can install it. Now, once you have a uh, pip install, the, it's pretty simple. You use pip install diagrams, so your diagrams will be in, uh, diagrams also will be installed on the machine. So once that is uh, set up, what you need to do is you need to write the code, right? So I will use uh, Visual uh, Studio Code Editor. I will uh, use a simple uh, example, so I will copy this, uh, which will create uh, you know uh, this diagram of our Kubernetes cluster. So I will go this and I will. Uh, uh, put our code in my you know Visual Studio Code Editor and I'm going to save this file as a, a Python file. So I'm going to save this file as uh, 1.py so that you know I just name uh, some file as 1.py so it will be a Python file so it is saved in the location so it's it will be inside this location so you can see the file as 1.py right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this file as Python uh, 1.py okay 
So once I run it, it has completed the process. I will go and check the you know, location. So if I go to the location and uh, you know, if I refresh the location, you can see I have the you know, uh, file or diagram already created, right? So let me do one more, okay? So I will uh, go to the Visual Studio file. I will create a new file and let me go back and I'll uh, take a, an, another example. So let me take this example, uh, which is for uh, advanced web service with on, on the on-premise, which have a lot of other components, right? Like, you know, the cluster, uh, high availability for Redis, you have, uh, you know, the uh, the database you have also have Prometheus, Grafana, Spark, different co kind of component, right? And how you do this, like you know, you can see the, the overall, uh, you know, the process. You can see it's pretty simple. You cluster it, you know, if you want to have like a cluster, if you want to have separately, you know, you have it like a separate uh, components. Okay, so it's not a uh, that complicated one. It's uh, just pretty simple. I will just put it and I will save this file as well. So I'm going to save this one as uh, 2.py. So I will just save this. Now, if I go back, you know, uh, I have uh, you know, only three files, right? One, two, and you have uh, the previous one, which is the PNG file, which we created, right? So if I so go to the location, you have only three files, one, uh, two Python file and the other picture, right? Now let me go back and I will uh, run Python uh, 2.py. So it has completed. Now, if I go back, you can see one more uh, PNG file has been created, right? So you can see, you know, I will go and refresh the location here. Now you can see the picture is created, right? So it was it's pretty simple and straightforward. You know, you have created such a beautiful diagram using a code, right? You don't have to you, you look for the icons. You don't have to put it. You don't have to you know arrange it. So it's a pretty simple process using this diagram as code. So I wanted to show you this one using this tutorial. So that's all uh, for this tutorial. So all the details, you know, I will link into the video descriptions and uh, the mini uh, diagram dot minigram dot com. You can refer it. So if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button. Also like my video, uh, you know, share it with your comments in the you know, uh, feedback in the comment sections. And thank you for watching.